Here we sketch the graph of two equations. We shade the region bounded by the two regions, and then we determine the area by integrating. This time around, I decided not to use graph paper so that I would have a little more freedom with my drawing, but the drawing will not be as quite as nice. If I have x equals y squared, this is going to be a parabola that opens to the right. And uh, like I said, I'm going to just sort of do a rough sketch of that. Here's, here's something like that. It's way better if I have graph paper and use the graph, graphing tool that comes with this software here. Um, the next is x equals y plus 2. Let's change colors and check that out. x equals y plus 2. Well, that's going to be a line, but I really can see that if I subtract 2 from both sides and y equals x minus 2. I, I'm very pretty good at sketching these guys here. Um, if I have y equals x plus 2, but I want it in the form x equals y plus 2 because that's what I'm going to use to integrate. So, okay, we'll get to that. But let me just sketch this. Let me put this aside. And if I use graph paper, it's true. By carefully sketching the graph, I can, I think I can find the points of intersection. Like if I just, if I, if I do a good job of plotting points, which I, I think I'm pretty good at, um, I can, I can find the points of intersection, which is needed. But let's, let's just um, do this algebraically by setting these two equal to each other and solving. See, say I have x equals y squared, x equals y plus 2. So y squared minus y minus 2 equals 0. And I just factor that, y minus 2, y plus 1 equals 0. So y minus 2 equals 0, y plus 1 equals 0. So y equals 2, y equals negative 1. So the y coordinate from that point of intersection is negative 1. For the other um, point of intersection, I'll get 2. But like I said, if I, if I had sketched, if I use graph paper and plotted points carefully, I would have find those, found those numbers also. That's a good way to do it or more or less these problems in books where they come out, you know, with, with nice integer points of intersection. Okay, now, let's, this is something I have to pay attention to. What I'm going to do here is um, when, I, when I use a method of making rectangles and then making the rectangles thinner and thinner, taking the limit, as the rectangles get thinner, thinner and thinner. What I'm going to do for my rectangles is I'm going to draw those, as you see in this case, horizontally. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because in, for both those functions, x is, a, is expressed as a function of y. This is really necessary for this x equals y squared. Some people will try to solve and they'll try to say, well, isn't this the same as y equals square root of x? Well, not no, it isn't, actually. This is y equals plus or minus square root of x, and the whole problem becomes very unwieldy and not the way to do it. I mean, I mean essentially, x equals y squared doesn't pass the vertical line test, so y is not, cannot be written as a function of x. And it just, it just, it's a difficult way to do this. What we're going to do is we're going to integrate for our area from let's say C to D being Y values of our right function, function on the right, F of Y, and then we'll, we'll subtract the left function. And then it's DY. See our, our, our little square there has, has height D of Y, our little rectangle, not square, it's a rectangle. Okay, and so I'm gonna integrate with, from Y equals C, Y equals D, that's important that these are all y values, everything's y. So including our bounds are y equals negative one to y equals two. 
all y. On the right is y plus 2. On the left is y squared. The integration will be easy, but I have a feeling that the fractions that I am going to be stuck with when I go from negative 1 to 2 are not going to be that easy. I'm going to do 1 half y squared from negative 1 to 2. It's, it's the distributive property when I do this. And I have 2 y from negative 1 to 2. And then minus 1 third y to the third negative 1 to 2. You don't have to do it this way, but I break it up into to pieces. I Somehow I feel like I'm making my steps a little easier when I do that, but I, that's sort of suspicious whether that's even true. But it, but it, but it, it works, it's, it's correct. And then I made a mistake here and put squared, it's not squared. Okay, so this is sort of a handful, right? Okay, so, 2 squared is 4 minus 1. That's the first thing. 2, two minus negative 1 is 2 times 3. And then I'll, 2 to 3 is 8. All right. Minus, okay, so this is minus negative 1. Because negative 1 to the third power is negative 1. So I'll have 1 half times 3 plus 4 minus 1 third. Somehow I thought this was going to be really difficult to, to evaluate, but now I'm thinking, no, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Okay, so um, get five halves. Well, unfortunately, I don't think that's the right answer. I have a feeling it isn't, but, well, I have the answer sitting in front of me. Let's just go back over here. It's... says it's nine halves. So I got everything right. There's the, there's the solution in the back of the book, except, I mean, I got the, a lot of stuff right, but it's not, it's uh, nine halves. And that makes us all feel like it's a waste of time. Oh, here's the mistake. Two minus negative three is three. If you're watching the video, you're probably like screaming what are you doing? That's not right. Oh my gosh. Um, is it still wrong, maybe? Okay. So, three plus three halves, that makes... I had a feeling I was gonna make a little thing like that at the very end. I had a feeling I would do that. It would have been way better if I hadn't made that mistake. But anyway, there we go. So the mistake was two minus negative one, that's three. I think it's, I'm just gonna still post this video with the human side here that I made a mistake and you can see that. Okay, sketch the graph. This is a case when X is a function of Y and you do not wanna solve for Y and, and integrate with X. It's, 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 it's because if you're going to integrate with respect to x, you have to do top minus bottom, but that's very inconvenient. You'd have to cut this into pieces. Okay, um, so anyway, this is right minus left, so everything's expressed in terms of y. The points of intersection were something we had to do. Sketch the graph, we had to do that, and uh, I think everything's done, so that's all.